Hello, welcome to the Cancer Museum here in Dundalk. Around this time every year, Christina, Francis, Deirdre are putting the final touches to the museum in anticipation of your visit here, where you'll be enjoying some Christmas activities and a Christmas video. Unfortunately, as you know, this year is different and unfortunately you can't visit the museum. So we've tried to do something a wee bit different. We've decided to try and visit you in your classroom. So, in the next number of minutes, Christina is going to show you how to make the museum Christmas elf. We hope you enjoy, hope you stay safe over the Christmas, and that Santa is good to you. Take care, and see you next year. Hello everybody. Now, today we are going to be making Christmas elves. Okay, you can see them here. Now, so these are the museum Christmas elves. So we have Minnie and we have Michael. Okay, so very simple what you're going to need for these is you're going to need a couple of sheets of card okay you can see here i've got different colors now what i have done is instead of using a whole sheet of a4 like this what i've done is i have folded it in half so you see you put your edges together okay and press it down and then you can cut it so you've got two sheets so you'll be able to make two elves if you want to okay now we're using card because it's much stronger than paper okay we also have what you're going to need is glue scissors a pencil and a black marker okay so the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to pick a skin tone for your elf okay so you can use white you can use brown you can use black whatever you want easier for you to see the pencil lines in okay as I said you can use whatever color you want now if you don't have the right color what you can do is use the white and then simply color it in with a pencil okay so now just gonna move our elves over now, so we're going to start off with your elves head and what I do is when I'm drawing I don't think right I have to draw the elves head I look at the shapes instead all right so you can see with your elves head it's a circle and then the neck is a rectangle and then we're going to pop the big ears on it as well so instead of your sheet like this long ways I want you to turn it sideways for me now so very simple you're going to get your pencil and you're going to draw a circle for me okay oops my pencil I'm gonna get a new pencil there we go that always happens so we'll draw your circle now it's very very hard to do a perfect circle freehand so don't worry see the way mine you can go over it until you're happy with the shape don't worry about pencil lines because I'm going to show you a trick at the end so you won't see any of the pencil lines so that's your face Next, we're going to do your neck. So you're going to do a rectangle down, okay? Down to the very end, and you just go across. Now, make sure your elves' neck is a little bit longer because we need a little bit to be able to stick in underneath. Now, we're going to move on to the ears. So elves have really big ears. Now, you can see this shape here. It kind of looks like a leaf off a tree. So the way we're going to do it is you start at the side, we're going to swing around and over and then we're going to bring this one down okay then we're going to do the other side nice and big now okay Ooh, one, one. and we're going to swing it down okay now don't worry see one of my ears is slightly smaller than the other but i'll be able to fix it when i'm cutting it out so again you can do as many lines as you want until you are happy with your shape okay now next what we're going to do then is you're going to get your scissors and we're going to cut it out now the way we do this is you're going to cut it out all in one go don't cut your ears off by accident okay so you're going to go around make sure I cut it all off okay you're going to keep going around i'm just going to cut this out roughly now at any stage if you want to pause this video just while you're cutting out there is no problem okay so you just take your time you're going to cut it all out now i have one i prepared earlier okay now so what you're going to do is you're going to be left with see 
Now, see the way you've got all the pencil lines? Again, don't worry about it because the little trick is you're going to flip them over onto the back. So you won't see any pencil lines at all, okay? Now, the next part is we are going to do your elf's ha uh, hat. Okay, so it's going to be nice and big, I think, to keep some presents under there. Right, so pick whatever colour you want. All right, uh, I am going to go with green. So, very simple. What you're going to do is you see your ha head, you're going to put your card long ways because we want to do a nice big hat. So we just need to measure it to make sure your hat isn't too big or too small for your elf. So we pop it, see just above the ears? So there is one side, just mark it with your pencil, and the other side, okay? Now, so what we're going to do for the hat is we're going to draw a big triangle, okay? So we're going to go up, 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 up. I'm going to stop about there. Now, we're going to bring over the other side. We're going up again. See, like a big triangle. Now, at this stage, what you can do is you can bring it up to a point if you want. But what I've done is I've given it a little curve, okay, with the bell hanging off. So it's very easy. It's like, you know, if you go to the beach and you see a wave curling in when it's coming into the beach. So you just go around like that. Okay. Oops. See, like that. And then we're going to bring the other side around just like that and into a point. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to get our scissors and we're going to cut this out. Now, so again, take your time when you're doing this. At any stage, again, if I'm going too fast, you know to pause the video until you catch up. I'm just doing this quickly, well, a little bit quicker. All right, I'm just going to cut that out roughly. Now, always remember when you're using scissors, mind your fingers. Now, so we are cutting out. Don't forget your little wave at the top. Okay. Now, so that's it roughly. Now, as you can see, you can see the pencil lines. But again, don't worry. We're going to do our trick again. We're going to flip it around so you can't see it. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to get your glue at this stage. Now, see the top of your elf's head? So the far head, you're going to pop your glue on that. It's easier if you put it on the head because then it's not going to stick to the table on you. Now, so get your hat and we pop it on like that and stick it down. Okay. Right, now next we are going to move on to the bell. So elves have bells on their hats. Must be so they can hear each other when they're running around. Now, so I'm going to use yellow this morning. So again, just look at the shape. What we're going to do is we're going to do a big circle. Again, look, it's not going to be perfect. It's okay. So you can do as many until you're happy with the shape. Then what we're going to do is... We're just going to cut it out roughly because it's much easier than when you go to cut it out. So get your scissors and we're going around, okay? Now you'll be much more careful than I will, but I'm just going to do it roughly with you. So you see, so you see again, pencil marks, flip it over to the back and you won't see it. Now, you're going to put your glue, see just on the top of your elf's head. On your, I'm sorry, on your elf's hat, not on the head, that'd be a bit strange. Okay, you're going to stick your elf's head. Right, so the next part we're going to move on to is we're going to do your elf's body next. Now, what I didn't tell you at the start was we have a little surprise because the elves have a little secret compartment where you can do your message, your secret message to Santi if you want to leave it out for Santi, okay? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a red sheet so you get whatever colour sheet you want. Now, so what we're going to do to make this little secret compartment here is we're going to get the sheet we're going to have it long ways like this what i want you to do is we're going to fold it over so put it edge to edge okay and you're going to press it down nice and down get a good crease in it 
<coughs> Excuse me. Now, so you have, see like this? It's nearly like a Christmas card if you were making a Christmas card, okay? Now, so you see the crease where it's folded over? You're gonna hold that up to your elf's neck. See, just like that. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna measure uh, how big your neck is. So we're gonna pop, see there, and we're gonna mark there. Because what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut out the neck and we're gonna pop in your elf's neck at the end, okay? So all I want you to do now is from point to point, you're gonna draw, see like a little semicircle, okay? Doesn't have to be perfect, don't worry about it, okay? Now, next, we've got to give your elf some shoulders. So you see with your little finger, if you hold it to that point and just mark there, see like that, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. So you have a shoulder there, then you're going to move your finger there and you're going to measure it that side, okay? Now, so we're going to start on the arms and the body next very simple so the shapes again we're going to do rectangles all right so very simple you're going to go out like this we're going to draw a rectangle for the arm so you're going to go around and back up okay now so if you stop you see the underneath of your arm just where the outside of your shoulder is all right and then we're going to do this side so you're going to go down again and we're going to draw another rectangle and you're going to go over and you're going to go up see just to under where your shoulder starts now then we're going to do the body so very simple you're going to go straight down and straight down this side so it's a big long rectangle all right now again don't worry if it's not perfect you can fix it have a look at it check it's okay you're happy with it and now next what we're going to do is we're going to cut it out so now you know the way you have two pieces make sure hold your hand on it because you don't want to cut off the underneath so the easiest way i find is if you start like this so we cut off that side i'm going to go around now always remember mind your fingers okay and again, remember if I'm going too fast, all you have to do is pause the video at any time. Now, I'm gonna do this. Make sure, again, you don't cut off your other sheet at the back. Right. Now, nearly done. Okay, so I'll move those. Now, so I've left a semicircle to the end because I find it the easiest then just to do it at the end. So all you're doing is hold your sheet together and you're cutting out a semicircle. Right, now, so you should be left with this and it opens just like that, okay? Now, again, you can see the pencil marks. So we're just gonna flip it around to the back so you don't see the, any pencil marks. Now. We're going to put our elf's neck in, so we're going to get our little elf and we are going to, see, slot it into the hole there. Now, so leave a little bit of your elf's neck out. What we're going to do is we're going to open it up, we're going to get our glue and we're going to pop a little bit of glue where we want to stick our neck down. There we go. Now. And press it down. <clears throat> now, there you go. Coming along nicely now. Right, the next part now is we better do the legs and the feet. Okay, so what I am going to do for this is I am going to use some yellow. Right, so get your pencil. <clears throat> use whatever colour you want. What we're going to do is you pop, see your sheet a little bit just up because we're going to need a little piece to stick at the back of your elf, okay? So I'm going to move it up to about there. Now, so the way we do the elf's legs is it's like a square. So you see in the middle of your body, what I do is I draw just a little bit of a line down, okay? That's going to be the middle of your legs. So you can have skinny, skinny legs, you can have thick legs, whatever you want. 
we're gonna go down this is kind of like a rectangle okay so that's your legs now we're gonna move on and we're gonna do the shoes so the elves they've got little boots so the top of the foot you're just gonna do a line out okay then you're gonna do another line this side okay you can do them as big as you want okay for some reason elves seem to have big feet I don't know what it is I think it's because they're running around all the time they need big feet to keep going now at then what we're going to do is we're going to draw a line for the bottom of the foot see just like this so it's starting to look like see a T an upside T upside down T okay all right now do you remember we did the wave for the hat we're going to do the same here for the boots okay we're going to bring this line we're just going to curve it up okay and you're going to do this line you're going to curve that one up as well okay then we're going to start here and we're going to swing it swing it swing it swish it round see like it looks like a big wave and we're going to swing this one around as well oops now again don't worry if you make a mistake you just go over it because we're going to turn it around and you won't see any pencil marks okay and just bring your line down there okay see like that i'll just i'll continue the lines up so we know where to cut out all right now again you'll be able to fix up yours and then what we're going to do is we're going to cut these out now if you cut it out roughly it's much easier then see if you cut out any extra pieces that are in the way and then what you're going to do is you're going to cut these out okay so take your time these are a little bit fiddly again if you want to pause the video at any stage do okay so you're going to cut yours out now i have ones i made earlier let me show you all right these are my red ones so you can see See the pencil marks there? Very simple. We're flipping it around. All right. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to put this on the back of your elf. So you get a little bit of glue now and you stick it on the top of your legs. And then, very simple, you're going to press it down onto the back. Now, that's it. Fabulous. Now the next thing is what we're going to do is we are going to do the hands. All right. So you can see I've given them mittens to keep their hands warm. So I'm going to use some yellow this morning. So what we're going to do is again you just slot it. You see just up a bit because we need a little extra piece of arm to stick in underneath. So these are very simple now so you know the way we're doing circles we're going to do ovals now or as my sister calls them easter egg shapes so we're going to go around see like that okay so that's the main your mitten and then we're going to do the um thumbs so they're kind of like a smaller oval or a big fat sausage whichever way we're going to put it see here okay that's your thumb and then very simple we're gonna go and do a skinny rectangle so you join it all up you see like that so that's gonna we're gonna cut that out as a whole and then you're gonna do your other one so again we're gonna do another oval yeah again don't worry about pencil marks because we're gonna be turning it around so you can work to get them the same size again we're going to do a smaller oval or a big fat sausage whichever you prefer to call it see just like that and then we're going to go and draw our rectangle again okay now we're going to cut those out so again you're going to cut them out roughly for me and cut them out separately now, so remember, when you're cutting these out, you cut them out all together, okay? So you're going to go around. When you're cutting out 
sometimes it's easier. See if you move the paper while you're cutting, okay? And these are a little fiddly, so just take your time with these. Okay, I'm gonna cut that off so you can see. And we're going around and up. So you see the way I've cut that out all together? And then we're just gonna flip it around so you won't see any pencil marks. Now, I made two earlier. So I want you to cut those two out now. And then what you're gonna be left with is two, okay? What I want you to do is pencil marks, you're gonna turn them round to the back. Now, when you're sticking your hands onto your elf, always remember the thumbs go on the inside, okay? So, we're gonna get our elf now. I want you to lift up, see here your secret where we're gonna be putting the um, secret message to whoever you want to give it to. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna also stick down the arms. Now, by what I mean like is, I want you to put glue all along the arm here we're going to put glue all along this arm as well okay now we're going to get our hand to kind of look a little bit like boxing gloves as well we're going to press that one down let's make sure that's stuck see the way we kept the extra piece so that there's plenty that you can stick down to make sure they stay in place now once you've got them done all I want you to do is you're going to press that down and you're going to stick your arms because all we want to be able to lift is this piece, okay? Now, that's it. Coming along well now. I hope everybody's getting on okay. Now, next, what we're going to do is we're going to do all the different fringing. I call it fringing. You see on your elf's costume and hat. So we're going to do the hat first. So I am going to use, I think I'll use a yellow again. Right, so get your pencil. Now for this, do you remember we measured the hat earlier? We're gonna do it again. So I just want you to measure that side and that side. Okay, it's just to make sure that the fringe you design isn't too big or too small. Now, very easy. What it is, is it's triangles, okay? So we're gonna go up and we're going to go down but we don't go down to the see the very very edge okay because we want to keep all our triangles together so we're going to go up again we're going to go down and we're going to go up and down up and down it's kind of like a zigzag up and down again okay it also looks i think like shark's teeth okay so again you're going to cut that out roughly it's much easier. Then we're going to get our scissors. Now, we're going to go... So if you just take your time doing this, again, remember, mind your fingers. Okay? So you're just going to take your time. And we are going to cut these all out. Now, remember, keep all the extra bits because you can use them for decorating your elf at the end. Okay? And just like that. Now, move those out of the way. So again, you see the way there's pencil marks? Don't worry about it. Flip it round, okay? Now, you can do it either like a fringe, see, hanging down, okay? Or you can have it turn the other way like a crown. So it's entirely up to you, all right? So get your glue, pop your glue onto back off your fringe oops okay and then very simple you're gonna stick it down just like that okay now the next is we're going to do the collar okay off your elf's outfit costume so i'm going to try some green for this now what i want you to do again is we're going to hold the paper up see just slightly up to the elf's neck because we want to measure the both sides of it, of the collar. So we're just gonna mark, see here, to here, all right? Because then we're gonna draw, do you remember we draw a semicircle? We drew a semicircle earlier. You're just gonna do a little semicircle, just like that. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do our triangles again, okay? So again, you're not going right in, just gonna do, how many 
as you want. See? And you're going to go back up like that. Okay? Now, again, you can use whatever colours you want. It's entirely up to you. So, now I'm going to cut these out. Again, I find if you move the paper, it can be easier. Okay, and mind your fingers. Now, okay, and then all we do is we're going to cut around the semicircle last. Like those. All right, so that is your collar. Again, you can see the pencil marks. We're going to turn it around like this, okay? So get your glue. Oops. And we are going to put the glue on the collar. And then, very simple, you're going to stick it on. Okay? Now, last bit of fringing is on your skirt or your shorts depending if your elf is a boy or a girl it's up to you right so i am going to try some yellow for the fringe here so again what we're going to do is see the way i've left a little bit of a gap just so we can measure the length of it so here and here okay now we're going to do our zigzags again so you're going up down up, down, up, down, and up, and down. All right, now we're going to cut that out. Again, cut it out roughly. Now, we're going... If you move the paper, see the way I'm moving the paper, it's a little bit easier when you're doing the little fiddly zigzags. Again, remember, if you want to pause the video at any time, do. Now, you see, we have to side of the way. So, we're going to put the glue on the side with the pencil marks. Now, and we are going to stick it on to the bottom of our skirt or our shorts, depending. Okay? And you see, we still are able to lift up our flap. Don't worry if you get a little bit of glue, it's okay, just rub it off. Now, the next thing is, is we're going to do your elf's stripy socks or tights. So, I'm going to get some green for this. <clears throat> and I'm going to use some black. Very simple. All I want you to do is, you're going to get your scissors. And you're just going to cut out... See some thin strips. I'm going to cut out about three. Okay. And then I'm going to cut them. See, so you're left with just some long thin strips. Now make sure they're long because uh, you don't want them too short and we can trim them anyway at the end. I'll show you how to do that. So I'm going to go I'm going to do two here. Okay. And just cut them off. Now, very simple, get your glue, get your strip and run it across the top of your glue and then we're going to stick it down, okay? Now again, you see the way it's longer? Doesn't matter. I'm going to trim that at the end. So I'm going to do some green next. Oops. And I'm going to stick that one down, okay? Now, Go for some black next. So again, I'm using these colours, but you can use whatever colour you want, okay? And I think I shall pop that one there. Okay? Now you can use as many as you want. Now, get your scissors, and we are just going to take time doing this. Trim off. See the edges? Move my elf around. Right. Now, okay, voila, we have stripy socks or stripy tights, whichever you prefer. Now, the next is we are going to pop our bells on our toes, our elf boots. I'm going to use yellow for this again. <clears throat> so, very simple. You're going to do 
two small circles, okay, just like that. You're going to get your scissors. Now again, just cut them out roughly and then cut them out. Oops, bits of paper stuck. Now, then we go around, move the paper, just like that. Now again, yours will be much better than mine. <coughs> now, excuse me. We're going to cut round, round, round. Again, as well, you take your time doing this. I'm only doing it a little quicker, just for the video. So, you've got two little oops, circles. We're going to pop a little bit of glue on one, and we're going to stick it down, and then the other one and we're going to get pop it on that just like that all right now the next bit is we're going to do your elf's uh, belt so you have to keep the skirt up or your trousers up whichever you want so for this I am going to use some black paper now again very very simple you're going to do do you remember we did the strips for your tights or your socks, you're going to do it a little bit thicker, okay? And all you're going to do is you're going to cut across, okay? And you're going to cut it out. So you're going to be left with, see this? Nice big strip. Now again, see the way I've cut it longer because it's much easier than to trim. Now for the buckle in the middle, what we're going to do is, I'll show you with a pencil. You can either do a, now Michael has a circular one, Minnie has a square one, so it's up to you. I'm going to do a square, well a rectangular belt buckle this morning. Alright, so see that? So again, cut it out roughly. Now, I'm going to cut that out. So that's going to be your belt buckle. Okay, lift it out of the way. So we're going to get glue and we're going to stick it onto your belt, your strip of whatever colour you want, and we're just going to press it down. Okay, next we're going to get our rectangle. There we go. We'll pop the glue on it and you're going to stick that, see, in the middle. Okay, and then what I like to do is put another colour in the middle of it. So what I'm going to use is some yellow, <coughs> excuse me, and I am just going to draw, see a smaller rectangle than the actual belt buckle. See, just a little bit smaller. You can cut it out and then if it's too big you can always trim it down a little bit. Alright, cut that out. Alright. do get my glue put it on the back and then we're going to stick that down in the middle okay now and then we're just going to trim either side now fantastic i hope everybody's getting on okay now we are nearly done now what's missing is we better give um, our elf some a uh, face. That would be clever, wouldn't it? Now, so what we're going to do is we're going to get our pencil first. Now, you can see, Michael, what I've done is I've used my black marker to make the face, but we're going to do pencil first because it's much easier. Right, so what I want you to do is for the eyes, you're going to draw two ovals or circles. It's up to you, okay? I am going to do a little oval. Remember we did them for the hands or the mittens. See, just like that. Okay. And we're going to do another one. Now you can do them much bigger than I am. Okay. Or you can do the circles, whichever you prefer. Then we're going to do the inside of the eye, which is just semicircle. See, like that. Okay. Now we're going to give your elf a nose, so we're going to do a semi-circle again in between the eyes and then 
I'm about to give him a mouth. So we're going to do a little semicircle there, okay? And don't forget the eyebrows. It's so just a line there and a line there. And next as well, just to give a little bit of shape to the ears, we're just going to do, see a line like this? Just on the inside of your ears. See? Just like this. Now you can give your elf earrings as well if you want. It is up to you. They're going to be very cool and trendy. Now, so when you're happy with that, what you're going to do is you're going to get your black pen, your black marker, and we are going to go over the pencil, okay? And then we're going to colour in the eyes. Now you don't have to do them black, you can do them whatever colour you want. It's entirely up to you. Yours will be much better than mine, anyway. Now, I'm going to colour them in. So next we're going to move on to the nose. So you're going to go over your pencil, then the mouth, back over it. Then we're going to do your eyebrows. Next onto the ears. Okay, we'll go around. So you're just tracing where you have your pencil. Mm -hmm. Now, there you go. Okay, I know yours is going to look much, much better. Now, the last thing then is we better give some buttons on your elf. Okay, on the jacket. So just little black dots. Now again, so if you want to do a skirt or shorts, if it's shorts then all you have to do is, see so just draw a line down the middle so that it's shorts. And then as well, can you see just your legs and your feet? What I want you to do is put a line down just so you know it's the two, just to separate your legs. Okay, it looks better. See just like that. Okay, now what you can do as well is you can see here Michael has gorgeous little blonde curly hair and Minnie here has gorgeous black curly hair. Uh, what you can do is, the way you do the hair is get whatever colour you want. Now you don't have to give your elf hair if you don't want to, it's an up to you, but it's very simple, I'll just show you. So if you get one of your sheets and all you do is you cut out, see strips, do you remember we did the strips earlier? What you're going to need, you do these as thick or as thin as you want. So I'm just going to do a few now just to show you. Yeah. So you do as many as you want in whatever colour you want, you can do multicoloured, whatever. Now, so there is your strips for your hair. Now, get your pencil, let's get my big pencil. If you want to make, now, so you can, if you want to make curly hair, all you do is you twist your little piece of paper, just arrange your pencil like that, okay? And just press it with your fingers, okay? Then slide it off, and what you're going to be left with, ooh, I have sticky hands, is, it's a little bit fiddly, but if you pull it out, you're going to be left, see, with curly hair, okay? And then what you do is, you simply pop a little bit of glue onto it and stick it at the back of your elf's head. So you can make plenty of hair. You can also, if you want, if you want to keep it straight, it's just very simply keep them straight and stick them on to the back of your elf's head. All right, everybody. Now, you also have loads of little bits left of paper, so you can always decorate whatever way. You can put stars on your elf's costume, whatever you want. And then when you're happy with it, you can simply pop your message on the inside, your secret message. So I hope everybody enjoyed that. I know for a fact yours are going to be brilliant. So what we're going to do is we will have an email address attached to this video and you can send all your pictures of your elves into us and we'll put as many as we can up on our Facebook page. So thank you again everybody and stay safe, look after each other and have an elf-tastic Christmas. Bye-bye.